Hey YouTube, what's going on? We're talking about some lock extensions right now. I've been getting ample amount of emails from people talking about um, lock replacement, lock extensions, extending my locks, pretty much a whole plethora around just lock extension. Now this is a set of lock extensions we did. How long ago? Around January. January, really? Mm -hmm. So we did a series about five months ago at this point. Um, you see her growth, and you see that there's no breakage around any these locks or anything you see there's a healthy balance to these so I would not really suggest anything smaller or unbalanced than this level even on the edges now we have a little bit of from from here but that's because of thinning I'm, I'm sure but the base and the foundation is still secure you do not want to put a lock extension something of this size and this amount of weight which is not of your natural hair on anything thinner than than this 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 doesn't work it, it makes no sense to put a lock extension on this and you know I do understand that a lot of people are losing hair and losing different things but you still want to make sure that your balance is right so grow that hair out first build up these bases and then go into your lock extension. Your lock extension should always look, I'm sorry, this full. A full head of locks. There is no reason why you should have 17 lock extensions. That don't work. If your girl or your dude or whoever's doing your hair is making your parts bigger than quarter size and quarter size and putting this little bit something on here, ain't gonna work. Over time, you're going to have really huge parts, and it's just not going to balance out. You see that these locks also have uh, a very versatile, very loose versatility to them to where they're not stiff, stuck, just antenna all over the place. It doesn't work. Using the right products, the right shampoos, the right conditioners will balance this out and will keep the hair growing. We can also color the hair also, and it won't have breaking issues. This is where we I use over and over my, my deep cleanser shampoo. This is my first one. Then I go into the stimulant. Um, what is it called? What is that shampoo called? The second one? Yeah. The moisture retention. Yeah, that one. I go into that one second, which all of these things are on the website. They're highly needed. They build amino bonds. They um, help with the enamel base of the hair and a, a lot of, lot of other things. Your hair was not built to pretty much hold like too too much weight so we try to make find the balance in the middle to make it all work together but it's not going to work together when you're trying to first of all take two different kind of hairs and smash these together and you're making your lock extension after that after that you're putting all of this weight all of this because the lock extension is going to pretty much be this size in time on something that small how is that going to work in time, that's going to slide off again. You will lose that hair. It will break. So please be mindful of that balance. Please understand that repairing and, and just replacing the length and the look is two different things. Fix the base first. Uh, understand the scalp. Everybody can't get lock extensions. Everyone shouldn't. My best professional uh, advice to it is if your hair is not really that strong, I really wouldn't try it. Some people really just need to be patient and take out the time and really grow them if that's what you, really what you want. I do understand you want the length of top, but you really just can't rush it. Now, she was one. I would have recommended the lock extension for her because it works. She has really, really strong hair, and you can see that it's held and it's done well. It, has, it needs a little bit of critiquing, but that's something that some man-made things will need. Other than that, she'll be good to go versus... Come in one second, Tori. Versus Tori, you'll see that her her ends are doing totally different things. They have totally different things going on than a lock extension. So with two different kind of hairs, two different fibers, textures, everything that you have, you have to work with what you have. You cannot just force anything. You can't smash anything in. It's not going to work over time. You will end up losing more than you started out losing. Uh, in the end, you will be very, very dissatisfied. I, that's a guarantee. Um, a lot of those souffles and putties and gels and thick, thick, thick stuff that you're putting 
on top of a lock extension, this will hold a, a, a buildup worse than anything else. This will, and it will not come out because there are certain things you cannot put into this hair that's processed that you can put into your own hair that will make certain things happen. So understand the oxygen levels and all of that that has something to do with it as well. Just want to talk about the lock extensions really quickly to make sure that there's a full balance all the way around from the number to the size to the amount of your hair that is used to the amount of hair that you have in your head before you even put them in. Please understand that or you will forever have stuff laying next to you in your bed, on your pillow, and on work. You won't have any of these edges and for you to have no edges and come in and say put some more up here, hell no. <laughs> hell no. No, do not do that. That's, that is not going to work. And I have clients that ask me that all the time, especially on bleached hair. You'll say, oh no, just... Just add a couple of pieces. It'll be okay. No, it won't. It, you're really not in a position to do any of that. So when I'm, what I'm going to do today is all you see is just this little bit of area all the way around right here. I can put that back in and that can be locked into that because this is really, really still strong hair. It's long enough and you will see that it's still growing so the follicles in this area aren't damaged. Nothing is going on. You just had a little bit of hair to come out of that. But that's fine because in the front is mostly where we have a lot of our breakage, regardless from majority of combing, brushing, and all of those other things. So be cool with that. If you lock extensions, if you're doing lock extensions, I have lock extensions, not too many ponytails. Um, when you're sleeping, tie them up, put them up. Not too tight, but make sure that they are comfortable to you because you can turn your head and snatch the crap out of one of those things in your sleep. Wake up with just a clean bald spot. I have seen it before on myself personally to where I've snatched out one in my sleep. So just be cool with that. Be mindful of that and work with these in the most fragile state that you can. Check me out for more. Peace.